Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The British Army relies heavily on tanks and armored vehicles with a focus on modernization and versatility in operations. The Challenger II main battle tank is currently the backbone of the British Armed Forces, with plans for a major upgrade program in the works. In addition to the Challenger II, the British Army operates a range of other armored vehicles, including the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the Ajax Reconnaissance Vehicle. These vehicles provide the Army with flexibility and mobility on the battlefield. Overall, tanks and armored vehicles remain a critical component of the British Army's defense strategy, providing protection and firepower to troops on the ground. Today, we will show you the 10 best armored vehicles and tanks in the British Army. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. FV-103 Spartan The FV-103 Spartan tracked armored personnel carrier was not developed in isolation but as part of an armored combat vehicle family headed by the Scorpion light tank armed with a 76mm gun. There are seven main members in the family, all produced by Alvis vehicles, in which the Spartan was intended to be a specialist combat team carrier. This means that the Spartan is normally operated not as an infantry combat section vehicle, but as a combat engineer battlefield reconnaissance or air defense missile team carrier. The troop compartment at the rear seats four personnel with space for their specialized and personal equipment. Some Spartans have provision for mounting a battlefield surveillance radar on the whole roof, while others have internal racking for air defense missiles. At one time, British infantry had tank destroyer Spartans with Milan ATGW launcher turrets on their roof, but these have now been withdrawn. Ranger the Ranger mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle was developed by Universal Engineering of UK. The first prototype with 6x6 configuration was revealed in 2009. The Ranger has been designed as a family vehicle with a 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 configuration. The main role of the Ranger is to carry soldiers under armor and protect them from landmines and roadside bombs. The Ranger has an unusual armor design. The whole vehicle is built around a highly protected capsule with a V-shaped hull. Base armor provides all-round ballistic protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing projectiles. It is claimed that the armor of the Ranger provides protection against RPG-7 rockets. The vehicle also withstands mine blasts equivalent to 22 pounds 10 kilograms, of TNT anywhere under the hull. The Ranger, with 6x6 configuration, is operated by a crew of two, including commander and driver. It accommodates eight fully equipped soldiers. Warrior The tracked infantry fighting vehicle known to the British Army as the Warrior was originally known as MCV-80. It was intended to replace the old FV-432 armored personnel carrier. The British Army plans to operate these armored fighting vehicles until 2035. The base model is the FVF-10 Warrior Section Vehicle armed with a non-stabilized 30mm Rardin cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun in a two-man turret. The main gun fires armor-piercing and HE frag rounds. Maximum rate of fire is 80 rounds per minute. The Warrior has an all-welded aluminum armor hull and a laminated steel armor turret. It provides all-round protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. For operation at night, the Warrior is fitted with thermal imaging equipment. The seven troops carried enter through a door in the hull rear. FV-430 Mk-3 Bulldog The FV-430 Mk-3 Bulldog Armored Personnel Carrier is an upgraded variant of the FV-430 Armored Personnel Carrier. A contract was signed to refurbish and upgrade around 1,000 of the outdated APCs. The MK-3 Bulldog was fitted with an explosive reactive armor and countermeasures jammers against improvised explosive devices. Some areas of the vehicle are fitted with slat armor for protection against anti-tank rockets. 
It is claimed that the FV430 Mk3 is better protected than the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This armored personnel carrier is armed with a single 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the top of the roof. The FV430 has a crew of two and can carry eight fully equipped troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via the rear doors or roof hatches. BVS-10 The BVS-10 Armored All-Terrain Tracked Carrier is a further development of the BV-206S. It was developed by Haglunds in cooperation with UK MOD. The BVS-10 is in service with the United Kingdom 143 and the Netherlands 74. It is locally known as the Viking in UK. The vehicle consists of two articulated tracked units linked by a steering mechanism. All four rudder tracks are driving continuously. The BVS-10 provides all-round protection against 7.62mm ball rounds. The vehicle retains mobility even if a track is damaged by an anti-personnel mine. The BVS-10 provides seating for a total of 12 men, including the driver. Forward unit has a payload capacity of 1,760 pounds, 800 kilograms. Rear unit has a payload capacity of 4,410 to 6,720 pounds, 2,000 to 3,050 kilograms, depending on mission profile. The vehicle can also tow trailers with a maximum weight of 6,610 pounds, 3 tons. The Viking can be armed with 12.7mm or 7.62mm machine gun, mounted on top of the forward unit. Ocelot The Ocelot is a modular protected vehicle developed by Force Protection Europe and Ricardo PLC. The vehicle was designed as a private venture to meet a British Army requirement. This armored vehicle is known as Foxhound in the British Army service. This mine-resistant vehicle provides protection for the personnel against direct fire, artillery shell splinters, and improvised explosive devices. The Foxhound has a V-shaped hole which deflects the mine blast away from the vehicle. The cabin of the Ocelot is made of advanced composite materials. Special roll pods of the vehicle include utility, weapon carrier, logistics, and command. The patrol version has a crew of two and accommodates four troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via doors or roof hatches. This MRAP has a payload capacity of 4,410 pounds, 2,000 kilograms. Ajax Recently, a new family of technologically advanced tracked armor vehicles was developed by General Dynamics to meet a British Army requirement. The Ajax Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle is a baseline variant of this family. It will replace the previous FV-107 Scimitar Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle. The Ajax is based on the ASCOD-2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle. It will be used to gather intelligence for surveillance, target acquisition, reconnaissance, and striking. The Ajax has a turret and is armed with a fully stabilized 40mm cannon. Only few armored fighting vehicles in the world are fitted with such a powerful gun. This cannon has an effective range of 2 miles 2 kilometers, and a rate of fire of 180 to 200 rounds per minute. This powerful weapon has easily defeated enemy infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. It is claimed that Ajax is the best in terms of protection and survivability in its class. Challenger 2 The Challenger 2 main battle tank was developed as a private venture to replace the previous Chieftain MBT in service with the British Army. It is a further development of the Challenger MBT. The new main battle tank is significantly more capable than its predecessor. It is one of the most protected tanks in the world. This main battle tank provides a very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. The Challenger 2 uses Chobham composite armor of second generation. Explosive reactive armor kits can be fitted for improved protection. The tank is fitted with a new L30 E4 120mm rifled gun. It is capable of firing a wide variety of standard NATO 120mm tank munitions. This gun is loaded manually. Effective range of fire with armor piercing round is over 9,840 feet. 3,000 meters. 
The Challenger gun claims the longest distance tank kill in history. During the Gulf War, it defeated an Iraqi tank at a range of 2.8 miles, 4 kilometers. Ares The Ares is another member of the new Ajax family of armored vehicles. These new armored vehicles are produced in the United Kingdom. The Ares is a specialist combat team carrier. It means that this vehicle operates not as an infantry section carrier vehicle, but as a combat engineer battlefield reconnaissance, or air defense missile team carrier. This vehicle will deliver under armor and support specialist troops across the battlefield. The Ares has a crew of three, including commander, driver, and gunner, and carries up to seven fully equipped specialists. Also, there is a space for specialized and personnel equipment of the soldiers. This new armored vehicle is technologically advanced. It offers high level of protection against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters, and mine blasts. The Ares is fitted with remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. Challenger 3 The Challenger 3 is a new British main battle tank. It is an extensively modernized version of the Challenger 2. The new tank was officially unveiled in 2021. A contract was signed to produce 148 of these new MBTs for the British Army. Initial operating capability is expected by 2027. The Challenger 3 uses an upgraded hull of the Challenger 2. The engine and suspension were also upgraded. The Challenger 3 is fitted with an L55A1 120mm L55 smoothbore main gun. It is a modernized version of the German Rheinmetall RH120 tank gun. This gun is used on the German Leopard 2A6, 2A7, and Turkish Altay. The Challenger 3 uses an advanced fire control system. There is an automatic target detection and tracking system. It detects, identifies, and tracks targets. The Challenger 3 has new modular armor. Protection of the hull and turret has been further improved. Furthermore, an active protection system, such as Trophy, can be installed. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the armored vehicles and tanks you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.